Hello everyone! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Sir Chad, your math and and mentor. Our topic for today under grade 9 level is about variations. Bago tayo magsimula, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon para updated kayo sa mga videos na ina-upload ko. So wag na natin patagalin, let's begin! Hello everyone! Tulad na sinabi ko kanina, ang ating topic today is about variation. So first, what is a variation? Variation can be classified as a relationship between two different quantities. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong relationship between two quantities or two numbers. There are instances when a certain quantity varies directly with a different quantity. Ano ibig sabihin? Kapag yung isang quantity is nag-increase, mag increase din yung isa. Kapag ang isa ay nag-decrease, mag-decrease din yung isa. So, magkakaroon ng epekto ang isa't isa directly. So, first variation na i-discuss natin is about the direct variation. Direct variation is a variation which a quantity is directly proportional to another quantity. Direct variation can be shown as y is equal to kx where k is the constant of variation or constant of proportionality. For better understanding, so magkakaroon tayo ng mga examples. So for example number one, so meron tayong given na y varies directly as x. Ibig sabihin, y varies directly as x. So ito, yung ating equation given the statement y varies directly as x. Okay, so given this equation, what if magkaroon tayo ng mga values ng y and x? So, y is equal to 20 when x is equal to 5. So first, papahanap sa atin, what is the constant of variation or constant of proportionality? The next, what will be the Variation equation And Next Will be What will be the value of y When x Is equal to 10 Given these situations Hanapin muna natin si K Paano natin mahanap si K? So gagamitin lang natin yung ating nakuhang equation Y is equal to Kx y is 20 when x is 5. So, para makuha si k, divide natin both sides by 5. Therefore, k is equal to 4. So, meron na tayong sagot agad sa letter A. k is equal to 4. Next, what is the variation equation? This is the proportionality equation. But since meron na tayong k or constant, pwede natin siyang i-convert into y is equal to 4x. Therefore, this will be our variation equation. Napakasimple. Next one, what is the value of y when x is equal to 10? So, ibig sabihin, ang hinahanap natin ngayon is yung value ni y when x is equal to 10. So, paano? Gagamitin lang natin yung variation equation na nakuha natin which is y is equal to 4x y is equal to 4x y is unknown 4 times x which is 10 so y is equal to 40 therefore the value of y when x is 10 is 40 as you can see here or as you can notice when x increases from 5 naging 10 ang ating y nag increase then from 20, naging 40. Kaya sila tinawag na direct proportionality or direct variation because when one quantity increases, the other quantity also increases. Next one, meron din tayong isang klase rin ng direct variation. Another kind of direct variation is direct square variation. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng direct square variation? Direct square variation states that y varies directly to the square of x. Or, it can be written as 
y is equal to kx squared since y varies directly with x squared or the square of x. So this will be the general form, a standard form ng direct square variation. So, para mas maintindihan ulit, magkakaroon ulit tayo syempre ng example. Okay. Example tayo under direct square variation. P varies directly as the square of Q and P is equal to 256 when Q is equal to 8. Find first one is the constant or the constant of variation or proportionality, then B, find the equation, then C, find P when Q is equal to 4. So first one, let us find K. Una, kailangan muna natin gawin nating equation itong sentence na ito. P varies directly as the square of Q. Napakadali. P varies directly as the square of Q. Halos kaparehas lang nito. And bakit natin siya natawag na square variation? Kasi nga, meron tayong exponent na 2 dahil na-state naman sa problem na meron tayong square. Then, how will we find the constant of the variation? So first, what is the value of P? So value of P is 256 when Q is 8. So Q is 8. And that will be our K. So what is 8 squared? 8 squared is 64. Then, how will we find K? Divide natin both sides by 64. Therefore, K is equal to 4, which is the answer from 256 divided by 64. So, ito na agad yung ating K. Next, letter B. Pinapahanap sa atin ngayon kung ano yung equation. Napakasimple lang. Isasubstitute lang natin yung K mula dito sa equation na nakuha natin from the given statement. So, P is equal to 4Q squared. This will be our equation. Napakasimple. Then next, ang tinatanong, what is P when Q is 4? So, 4 times Q, which is 4 squared. 4 times 4 squared is 16. So, therefore, 16 times 4 is 64. So, therefore, P is 64 when Q is 4. As you can see here, yung ating Q ay lumiit from 8 naging 4. Therefore, yung ating P is lumiit din from 256 naging 64. Nagliit, lumiit yung isang, vari ay, isang quantity then lumiit din yung isang quantity. Kaya natin natawag na under pa rin siya sa direct variation. Naintindihan? Very good. Okay. So ngayon, next example tayo. Complete the table if y varies directly as x or x squared. So, kailangan lang natin hanapin ang x and k mula dito sa first one. x and k again mula dito sa second one. y and equation sa third and k and equation sa last number. So first, gawin muna natin to first number. So, ano yung given? So, y is equal to 30. Then, yung equation natin is y is equal to 5x. Kung makikita natin, siya ay nasa direct variation and y varies directly as x. Kasi, x naman to eh. So, ngayon, ano napapansin nyo? Kung mapapansin nyo, meron na tayong k. Ano yung k natin? Ang k natin is napakasimple. Si 5. Therefore, our value of k is 5. Napakadali. The next, paano natin hahanapin si x? Si x, madali lang hanapin. I-substitute lang natin yung value ni y, which is 30. So, 30 is equal to 5 times x. Divide natin both sides by 5. Therefore, x is equal to 6. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So, therefore, meron na tayong value ni x, which is 6. Next number tayo. Example number 2. Ang given natin is y is equal to 48 and yung equation is y is equal to 
x squared. Again, y varies directly as x or x squared. Pero as you can see, x squared to, sigagawin natin tong x squared. So, meron na naman tayong manonotice dyan. Yung k natin, napakasimple. Siya yung 3. So, isusulat lang natin, k is 3. Now, what will be the value of x? So, how will we find it? So, we just need to substitute the value of y, which is 48. So, 48 is equal to 3x squared. Dividing both sides by 3. So, x squared is equal to 16. So, how will we find the value of x? So, square up natin both sides. So, dito natin ilagay. x is equal to positive or negative square root of 16, which is 4. Therefore, our value of x will be positive or negative value of 4. So, sulat natin dito, positive or negative 4. So, that will be the value of our x and also the value of our k. Next one, number 3, sulat natin yung givens. So, ang given natin are x is equal to 2 and k is 5. So, how will we find it? Sabi, y varies directly as x or x squared. Depende na lang kung anong gagawin nyo. So, gawin natin parehas. So, how will we find first the value of y? So, napakasimple. Substitute lang natin yung value ni x and k. So, y is equal to k which is 5 times x which is 2. y is equal to 10. So, yan lang. Next, how will we find the value of y kapag ka direct square variation? So, substitute natin si k which is 5 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. So, 5 times 4 is 20. Therefore, y is equal to 20. So, meron tayong two values of y. If direct variation, so y is equal to 10 or simply 10. Kapag direct square variation, y will be 20. So, this will be the two values of y. Tanggalin na lang ito, baka magmura, magmukhang fraction. Or na lang lagay natin. Or, yan. So, 10 ang value ni y kapag direct variation. And 20 ang value ni y kapag direct square variation. So, what will be the equations now? So, magkakaroon din tayo ng dalawang equation. So, dalawang equation natin will be y is equal to kx. What is the value of k? It is 5x. Or, y is equal to 5x squared. Depende na lang kung ano ang susundin natin kung direct, directly as x, or directly as x squared. Intindihan? Very good. Okay, last number tayo. So, example number 4, the given are y is equal to 20 and x is equal to 4. So, sabi sa ating Sentence, y varies directly as x or x squared. So, ito na lang gawin natin since same process lang naman sa isang number. So, y is 20 when x is 4. So, therefore, divide natin both sides by 4. k will be equal to 5. So, napakasimple. Lagay lang natin dito yung 5. And then, ano yung equation? So, substitute lang natin yung k sa equation na to. So, y is equal to 5x. Kung varies directly as x. Since ang value ng k natin is 5. So, therefore, nakompleto na natin yung table na gusto mong pasalatan sa atin. Naintindihan? Very good! Good job! Good job! That will be all for today, everyone. Hope that this video helps you understand more about the direct variation. For the next topic about the inverse and the joint or combined variations, you can link the description down below. Don't forget to like and share this video. If you have any comments, suggestion, or clarification, 
you can always write it down below. Also, you can directly message me on my Facebook page at Sir Chad TV, capital S C M T V. Again, this is Sir Chad, your math and mentor. Hope to see you on my next videos. Thank you. Goodbye.